Ray tracing and path tracing have transformed PC visuals lately, and when you look at this batch of upcoming games, you realize it's barely even shown a glimmer of its full potential so far. Hello and welcome to ROG Global, where we celebrate PC gaming and drop info on our new products that help you enjoy it to its fullest. We announced loads of cool new product reveals at CES 2024 this year, so subscribe to us to stay up to date on all our goings on as we announce them. Right now though, we're looking further ahead at some upcoming games using path tracing and ray tracing to conjure some incredible PC graphics. Oh yeah, look at that one, see? To remind us what a great GPU is really capable of in 2024 and beyond. Turn up the neon signs to 11, top up those puddles, and let's get right into it. Imagine if life had an RTX on button, and you could just magically make really normal things like a superstore parking lot or your wardrobe look so beautiful that you suddenly couldn't stop staring at it because that's essentially what's happening here. We know all the bits that make up Half-Life 2 so well by now. We've seen this HEV suit more than our own extended family since Valve released the original in 2004, but here we are, stopping and staring at this new version of it like it's the first time we've ever seen first-person shooter body armor. And that makes us very excited for Half-Life 2 RTX, a collaboration between Valve and the community that does a lot more than just adding ray tracing, like remodeled and retextured assets. Ray tracing is going to be one of many ways a treasured old game will look new again, and it's actually going to be a thrill to push the graphics preset to max in Half-Life 2, mind you, and get that little flutter of anticipation like, oh, can I actually run this? What will it even look like with everything turned up to 11 stupid? There are no official release dates for this yet, so we're just telling our own ROG Strix 4090 to be patient. One day you'll get to show how amazing you can make City 17 precious silicon. Next, it's Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl, a game that finds real beauty in the grim locales of the zone. Scene of a nuclear disaster where singularities, militia, and mutant creatures all meet and fail to get along very politely. What made the original Stalker game so good was the sense of atmosphere and freedom while you were exploring the tundra, and developer GSC Game Worlds nailing that same foreboding presence here. Ray tracing is just one of the effects making the game look so high in fidelity. Shout out to the great facial performance capture here in the cinematics too. This game is a really staggering accomplishment by Ukrainian studio GSC Game World, and we're really looking forward to just roaming the zone and drinking in these incredible visuals when it arrives in Q1 2024. <laughs> The original Bloodlines was a true masterpiece, a golden nugget of compressed RPG brilliance that immersed us in a totally convincing world of vampires hiding in plain sight in modern day LA. The way vampire society governed itself was fascinating, all the politicking between the clans, all the seedy bars and nightclubs where you picked up quests and then headed out into the night to suck some blood. If Bloodlines 2 has even trace amounts of that same quality, Fall 2024 is going to be a very, very good one. It's had a tricky development period so far, having been handed over from Hard Suit Labs to Dear Esther developer, The Chinese Room. But the latest trailer shows some very cool vampiric abilities, super detailed character models, and both DLSS and ray tracing were previously confirmed, which is especially good news for a game where you can only go out at night. Think of all the puddles we'll be admiring reflections in when Bloodlines 2 brings a ray traced Seattle to our monitors. You're exactly what he said you'd be. I guess that makes it easier. Makes what easier? What happens next? Things have been a bit quiet lately about Dying 1983, an interactive escape room horror first announced for PS5, and now oddly enough cancelled on PS5, but still coming to other platforms including PC. This footage is from its 2021 trailer, but the Steam page still just lists a 2024 release date, so by crossing our fingers and polishing our Strix 4090s just in case. Because look at that ray tracing implementation. 
It's some of the best we've ever seen to date, both in large-scale environmental lighting stages and smaller objects like these impossibly shiny cans. In an escape room puzzler experience like this, the environments are the story, and an important character too in their own right. So even though the actual plot and setting details are thin on the ground, although we can probably take a pretty good guess at the year it's set, we're still so excited to immerse ourselves in this one later in 2024. Our next pick is using Unreal Engine's Lumen rather than RTX Ray Tracing to make all these spectacular visuals happen. But there's so much going on here that pushes game fidelity forwards, it's definitely worth mentioning. Project M from NCSoft featured an epic state of Unreal keynote in 2023 and leverages the shiniest bells and whistles from Unreal Engine 5.2, including the aforementioned Lumen Lighting System and Nanite for high-detail, low-resource environmental geometry. It's also using AI to power its character dialogue using a tech called Voice to Face. And all of those features together with this resulting footage uh, and a cool code name make this feel like a real insight into the next chapter of PC graphics. The game has gone dark lately, so we're hoping for a re-reveal with the final game name in 2024. Right, spin up those fans and disperse the heat from all those gorgeous graphics we just saw, because that's this video done. Subscribe to ROG Global for more, leave a like to support the channel, and if you're following an unsung hero project with great visuals, tell us about it in the comments. Catch you in another one.